as part of this makeover of my mind, body, and soul, I've started like kind of experimenting with supplements and figuring out what works for me. I have, uh, I mean, these are all, I can send you the link to all these if you want. I mean, they're, um, I just grabbed the cheapest shit, but it's not always the best shit. You know what I mean? So there's a vitamin B12, magnesium, vitamin D3, zinc, and um, just like a, a all-purpose uh, multivite for women. Um, I also, let me go into my handy-dandy pantry here. I have also started taking this um, Ray. I love this stuff. Love, love, love this stuff. Um, pre and probiotics. I have, um, I think, um, absorption issues. Uh, so sometimes like eating salad or eggs or, you know, I just thought it, you know, I used to think it was just all the whiskey I was drinking, but um, that's not apparently what it is. So I am working on my gut health and I am trying out uh, because, you know, former smoker, trying to clear out lungs. I have moly and tea is another one that I'm drinking. Um, and I have all of these like reishi mushroom things. Um, I can get into mud water later. Sea moss is something I've been trying for a few days now. With Irish moss, which is supposed to be the best one. I don't really know. I did a little bit of research. I'm not like a researcher. I did research. Um, but I looked up and made the best decision for myself. Um, that Irish sea moss was the way to go. And uh, it's bladder rack, burdock, and black pepper. Black pepper is like the activating agent. Uh, but whatever. Um, it's really good. Look it up. I can post a link. It's for detoxification and cleanse, immunity and digestive support. And it also is supposed to really help with like mucus. So, cause I am like perpetually congested either with allergies or yada, yada, yada. So look it up. If it's right for you, give it a try. Let me know how, uh, let me know how it goes. I'm super curious, like, cause we're on this journey together, right? Um, so the other thing that I am doing is, I don't know if you've heard of it, it is butterfly pea flowers. Now, this is a product of Thailand. It's USDA organic, non-GMO verified. Cool. Um, it would be really great if it said fair trade, too. But, um, you know, because I do try to be elevated in my consciousness when it comes to voting with my dollars. But uh, it doesn't. It says vegan and gluten-free. Well, no shit. Um, anyway... So this cracks me up on so many levels from the minds of the insane. Keep this. Butterfly pea flowers, okay? They are, it's antioxidants basically is what I'm after, aids in digestion and again, more along the lines of like um, cleansing and disease fighting and blah, blah, blah. But the best part about it is it's from the plant called Clitoria Ternatia. Mm hmm I mean, Clitoria Ternatia. Or Ternatia. I don't know. But anyway, if you look into, um, I don't know, synchronicities, whatever. It's from the Vag Tornado plant, basically. So there's no other way to empower a female than to um, drink from the nectar of the clitoris uh, tree. So until I can buy, uh, you know, buy some seeds and grow some here in my greenhouse before it's set up, this is what I'm working with. Gonna put it in my little mason jar. Label it. It's gonna look so pretty. Gonna put it in my courageous mug. And I'm going to start seeing what difference and what benefits. Um, but yeah, watch out for the uh, the Vag Tornado coming at you. I'm going to have to get some sort of, I don't know, pole or I think I have lighting somewhere. Maybe that has some steady thing where I can take videos where I'm not holding this thing. But um, yeah, I mean, in typical me fashion, I spilled it everywhere. Um, but here, I want you to see this. Check it out. I don't know. It's supposed to be blue. Oh, there it is. 
it's going to be blue, and then I believe it turns like purple. If you put lemon in it or something, maybe we can experiment with that one day. But the longer it steeps, the bluer it gets. Further dispelling the notion of gender assignments at birth, because apparently clitorises are meant to be blue. Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> I just find it very funny that we're assigned pink, right, at birth, uh, as like a gender construct, and here we are. It's just, you know, all of these things that make you go, hmm. But yeah, look at that. I don't know, I can put it in better light. Look how gorgeous that is. It looks like I'm about to die an Easter egg. So I'm going to let that steep, and we'll see. Hopefully it tastes good. So let's give it a try. It's so blue. So blue. This would be a pretty mocktail, I think. Doesn't really taste like anything. Mm. The best part of waking up is veg tornadoes in your cup. So once again, I have your magnesium zinc and D3 because this is supposed to be basically standard protocol for uh, COVID. Um, so I just like to keep my shit strong. So that's what I'm doing there. And vitamin B12 for energy. Hell yes. Leftover multivite from Costa Rica. Here is my moly and tea. And here is veg tornado and the sea moss. Word of the wise, don't get so distracted that you take um, a handful of vitamins on an empty stomach. I am still ill. I had to scarf down a bowl of cereal. That was awful. <laughs> I forgot. Mm. Anyway, I feel like I've coined uh, a phrase, vag tornado. And I looked it up online. And there's a notorious V A a notorious there's a there's a notorious V A G T which sisters props right so I don't know I haven't tried that one check them out go support that hell yeah um, but yeah no veg tornado it's almost like people are scared of vaginas have you ever heard of such a thing like clutch the pearls who's heard of this ever. So I don't know. I'm feeling like uh, maybe there's some merch on the horizon. Y'all want some some vag tornado? <laughs> some vag tornado tea? Because I do. Because I do. So at any rate, um, I'm going to be starting my workday here. Hitting up um, my next session with Mel Robbins. Everything in my engine is like meh, meh, depleted, meh, meh. It doesn't even go lower than completely empty because mine would just be like, Bleh. there's, I don't know how to spell that. That's not on there. That's not a choice. So yeah, I'm going to be uh, <laughs> doing the second, uh, second one of that. I know she has like this, I don't know, buck 89 or something a month for six months of like a training, but I just can't afford that right now. So y'all, this chicken coop. Mm, excuse me, it's taking everything right at the moment. Um, but that's okay. Little by little, poco a poco, step by step, every day. And um, we're going, I'm taking my son to the orthodontist today in the afternoon. Hopefully we are getting these stupid braces off. He is, has tested. He is tested on the spectrum with, you know, ADHD. And I am... Um, Almost 100% certain I am on the spectrum myself. I am 100% certain I had like the ADHD component growing up. Um, and as a way to compartmentalize and survive being autistic. Um, well, also trauma, you know. Uh, but no, this hypervigilance and being able to like, you know, control certain things and... Um, yeah, I'm a pretty laid back control freak. So, um, 
at, at any rate, I didn't want him going through braces alone. He was a thumb sucker. I was a thumb sucker. And um, he got his palate stretched and they needed to put like braces on and he was nervous. So I said, look, I'll do it with you. You don't have to go through this alone. We'll do it together. Talk about not having boundaries. Oh my God. And so I'm like, I will love my child so much. I'll get braces with him. Zero stars. Do not recommend. No one, please. Ladies, gentlemen, never love your child that much ever. Do not get adult braces. Zero stars. Do not recommend. So anyway, I'm hoping that um, that I will get my braces off. I had like a gap in my tooth and my teeth were all jacked. But then as my as the braces started changing my mouth, I was like, I don't like my teeth. That looks weird. I don't like that. I, I don't like that I look so different. So I was like, put the gap back. Put it back. Put it back. There are women in Europe that pay good money for this gap here. So um, he's like, well, in 40 years, I've never had somebody tell me that they want to get, well, you do today, put it back. So my gap is back <laughs> in full effect. So hopefully I get this up. I get my retainer. I won't have to wear that stupid rubber band because everybody knows my old ass mouth is not changing. So here we are. Wish me luck. Have a great day. And if I haven't told you yet today, I'm really, really glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. Chat soon.